Okay, uh, number five says draw the neutral organic starting material. So basically I have something, it's going to react with uh, Br2. So again, organic, uh, organic chemistry level question and also CH2Cl2. And it's going to create um, some sort of epoxide or not an epoxide, sorry, more so a heterocyclic, um, a heterocyclic structure with the bromine here. So I have, um, so basically it's asking us, what is our neutral, uh, what is our neutral organic starting material if I'm given um, this final material here and, I'm so, and I have these reagents, right? I have Br2 and CH2Cl2. So let's look at the answer here. And it's saying here that um, you need here this guy to make this right so how what, what does that mean so uh, the, we can think of this problem as you can look at this problem by counting the carbons first right so let's count the carbons here so again we have one we have one carbon here two three four this isn't a carbon here and then five right so minimum i'm going to have a five carbon chain to start with right so let me write this down so we're going to have a five carbon chain so i have one two three four five right so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, so I'm gonna one, two, three, four, five, right? That's good. So I'm gonna have a five carbon chain here. I know that one of these, one of the uh, these ends here has to have an oxygen, right? And if I were to again um, break up this heterocyclic uh, atom here uh, with the oxygen, I'm gonna get an OH group, right? So I can safely say that this bond here has to have a, a hydroxyl group, right? So this here would have to have my hydroxyl group here. And then finally, if I want a Br here, if I want a bromine here, what would I have to get in uh, my starting material to get a bromine? Well, I would need either a, um, I would need either a uh, an alkene, so what they have here, or you could have, you could do some type of substitution with an iodine group. So it doesn't really matter uh, which one you put here. You could put an iodine, or you could put a bromine, but in this case here, they put an alkene here. They put an alkene here, so that Br2 can add to uh, add to the end, to add to the fifth carbon here. And um, I'm just gonna check if this is, uh, if it actually goes anti-Markovnikov here. Um, it should add Sarah specifically, specifically to, um, uh, to, it should add basically uh, to one of these guys here. So it should, in this case, Br2, it's going to, again, uh, CH2Cl2, this, this is going to fold into the oxygen here to create this four-membered ring. So again, I'm going to count my carbons again here to show you. So I have one, two, three, and four. And then it's going to basically this this guy is going to fold into 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 the oxygen here to so create this ring here, and then the fifth carbon is going to be then attacked by the bromine here. So basically, what happens is that um, uh, these electrons are these electrons like um, like this bromine here. So basically, I can draw an arrow. Let me let me break up this Br two here. So basically, draw an arrow from here to here. It's going to kick out one of these bromines. It's going to form an intermediate that has uh, has a positive charge, right? So I'm going to get something like like uh, like so. And then what it's going to do? It's attracted to this oxygen. So it's actually going to fold into here, and then this bromine, the Br minus is now attracted to this oxygen, uh, to this positive charge here, right? So this here is gonna fold in first to make the ring, and then this Br minus is going to attach to the fifth carbon here. So this is how, so that's how it forms kind of this guy here. So the solution here is correct. Uh, it's a great analysis as well. I just didn't really write analysis, so I'm just gonna say solution here is correct. Um, that's about it. <laughs>